Welcome back. I'm gonna keep this episode nice and simple. I'll be setting up a couple different types of hair clippers along with the high-speed camera equipped with some ultra macro lenses. What I'm hoping to see is how the hair clippers actually cut the hair. I'm curious if it looks anything like those TV commercials I've seen in the past. An up and down bouncing motion works best. Where they show the animations of the actual clippers shearing the shaft of the hair. First thing I need to do is get this all set up. I finally got my whole rig all set up and I think it's gonna work fantastic. Originally, I was gonna use real people for this test, but I didn't for a couple of reasons. One is because the amount of light that I need for the high-speed camera would probably cook their scalp. The second is, to get someone to sit still for that long while getting the shots is a little difficult. That being said, most of my shots are gonna be on this head right here simply because this is the only one I have. But he's gonna be a good substitute because he's a looker, that's for sure. I think I might do a few shots like on my arm, like jam them into my arm. I'll see what happens. But first I wanna show you what clippers I'm gonna be using for these shots. These right here are some old school classic clippers, just steel on steel. These were gonna be the only clippers I was gonna use for this episode. But then some of my YouTuber friends, they told me that they did some type of integration with uh, Manscaped or Manscaped before said they were really good and they had like a new design. From what I'm told, these clippers are known for being safer and not pinching loose skin and sensitive areas of the body. I would love to see that with the high-speed camera because if there's one thing I don't like about the traditional clippers is that when they bite, they hurt. I always called it the bite of fear. So I just went online and these are not expensive. So these are the two clippers I'm gonna use. These clippers right here and these clippers here. All right, so I have my rig all set up. And my idea here is just to put a subject that we're gonna cut right in the path of the clippers so we can see exactly what the blades are doing with the hair as we just kind of plow right through all that hair with those clippers. I'm gonna start out with the classic steel on steel clippers, start the clippers up and then just mow the lawn and give this guy right here a nice haircut. He's gonna hate me for this one. Ooh, they didn't even cut anything. Is this why they use a comb? Yeah, there we go. Well, that went pretty smooth. We can clearly see in the high speed footage how the clippers work. The principle is really simple. It's just an oscillating blade that's moving side to side and each one of those teeth is acting as a scissor to cut the hair with a shearing action. That's probably why a lot of people call them electric shears. And they seem really similar to hedge trimmers, just a lot smaller and higher RPM, in this case, reciprocations per minute, not revolutions per minute. And for that last take, I just grabbed some of April's hair off of the floor and ran it right through the clippers in the name of science. That being said, let me grab the Manscaped clippers, get them all set up here in the same rig, same scenario. Let's see what the difference is. Oh man, that's the worst free haircut I've ever seen. Oh man, that was like butter. Well, that was very unexpectedly interesting, but those Manscaped clippers cut right through all that bush like it was butter, super smooth, 
and kind of impressive. That was enough of cutting hair for me. Next, I'm gonna focus on what the Manscaped Clippers are really good at, and that is not nicking your skin. Since I couldn't find a volunteer that was willing to sacrifice their arm, I'm gonna be the volunteer, and I'm just gonna get the clippers and be really rough and like jam them into my arm, just like you would if you were already late for work and you got that last minute text and you just had to trim that hair. So I'm just gonna kinda put my arm here and just jam it in there like this. Let me turn on the lights. All right, I'm gonna do this quickly so I don't cook. Oh, it's pretty hot. I gotta go, I gotta go to work. Oh! Oh yeah, no nicks, baby, no nicks. And just to give you an idea how much light I'm using for this, it melted the entire housing, but the clippers still work. Now I'm gonna do the same test with the classic clippers. I'm not really looking forward to this because it is my arm, and these right here are a lot sharper. Look at that. Yeah, those suckers are sharp. Look at that thing. Ooh. It already hurts and I haven't even turned the clippers on. I'm not looking forward to this. Well, let's see what it does. All right, let me turn these old school clippers on. They're actually a little bit rusty from being on the floor and they look kind of rustic. All right, I do it to it. I have a feeling this is gonna hurt a little bit. Ah! Oh yeah, I can totally feel them digging in. Ah! Well, that looked pretty crazy, and if you look closely, you can see that at some point, the pressure between the clippers and my skin was so intense that it was squeezing and scraping the oil out of the top layer of my skin. Apart from the fact that those clipper blades and teeth look like sharp knives from the medieval times, is that as the clippers were moving along my skin, the vibration from the motor was creating a sort of jumping motion and kind of stabbing into my arm. So it's just my guess that that might contribute to these type of clippers biting. Those were the old school classic clippers and uh, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. A little bit of a rash, not a rash, but a little bit irritated. But yeah, right there. Yep, got me for sure. I couldn't do a video like this with those results and not try to help out my viewers. So I contacted Manscaped, let them know what I was up to and asked them for a discount code, which I put in the description below and in the comment section. In case you're looking for a good set of clippers, at least you know these are good and you can save money at the same time or buy somebody a Christmas present. That concludes this set of tests with the hair clippers. I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it was really interesting how the hair clippers look like a combine coming down the farm, cutting down the corn stalks. So thanks for joining me for this set of experiments. I know it was a little crude and too close for comfort at times, but at least now you know how hair clippers work, why they bite and why they don't. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below. See you in the next video.